Stories of the Bible. Jesus calls Peter. This is Jesus. Hey -o. Who is the Son of God and the Savior of the world? Jesus grew up in Nazareth. Hey, Jesus. And was baptized by John in the Jordan River. Jesus began teaching about God's love and healing people of their sickness. One day, John saw Jesus walking by and told the people around him that Jesus was the Lamb of God. One of the people standing with him was Andrew, whose brother was Simon, who would later be known as Peter. Andrew went to find his brother and said, We have found the Christ! Whoa! Really? Come on! Simon went with Andrew and met Jesus. Uh-huh. I'm Simon. Jesus looked at Simon and said, Your name is Simon, son of John. Yes, it is. But you will be called Peter. Uh, okay. On another day, Jesus was walking along the shore of the Sea of Galilee, and lots of people crowded around him to hear what he had to say. Oh, uh, uh hello. Well, oh, okay. Jesus noticed two empty boats for Andrew and Peter had left them and were washing their nets. Jesus stepped into one of the boats hey, Peter. and asked Peter to take him out into the sea. Aye, aye. So he sat in the boat and taught the crowds from there. When he had finished speaking, he said to Peter, Now go out where it is deeper and let down your nets to catch some fish. Uh... But Peter said, we worked hard all last night and didn't catch a thing. But if you say so, I'll let the nets down again. And this time, their nets were so full of fish, they began to tear. Whoa! They called to some other fishermen for help. Hey, help! And soon both boats were filled with fish. When Peter realized what happened, he fell to his knees before Jesus and said, Oh, Lord! Please leave me. I'm such a sinful man. Jesus replied to Peter, Don't be afraid. Come, follow me, and I will show you how to fish for people. Really? Really. And as soon as they landed, they left their nets and followed Jesus. So Simon Peter became one of Jesus' 12 disciples and followed his friend Jesus throughout his time on earth. Everyone had been waiting for Jesus, and when he came back, a crowd was there to welcome him. Just then, the man in charge of the Jewish meeting place came and knelt down in front of Jesus. His name was Jairus, and he begged Jesus to come to his home, because his 12-year-old child was dying. She was his only daughter. While Jesus was speaking, someone came from Jairus' home and said, Your daughter has died. Why bother the teacher anymore? When Jesus heard this, he told Jairus, Don't worry, have faith, and your daughter will get well. Jesus went into the house, but he did not let anyone else go with him, except Peter, John, James, and the girl's father and mother. Everyone was crying and weeping for the girl, but Jesus said, The child isn't dead. She is just asleep. The people laughed at him because they knew she was dead. Jesus took hold of the girl's hand and said, Child, get up. She came back to life and got right up. Jesus told them to give her something to eat. Her parents were surprised, but Jesus ordered them not to tell anyone what had happened. Come and see Jesus growing up. This is Jesus. Hey -o. Jesus is the Son of God and the Savior of the world. Jesus was born in Bethlehem in a barn because there was no room at the inn for him. Jesus had a mom named Mary Hi. and a dad named Joseph. Hey -o. Jesus grew up in a small town called Nazareth. Jesus had brothers and sisters 
One of his brothers was James, Hi. and he followed Jesus his whole life. Hey, Jesus, wait up! Jesus also had a cousin named John. Hey, John! Hey, Jesus! Who would later be known as John the Baptist. Mom, we're home! Jesus was an Israelite, and his family practiced the Jewish customs and holidays. Hey! Hey! Hey, Jesus! Everyone who knew Jesus liked him. Jesus' earthly dad was a carpenter. What's up? What's up? Ah, I see. Jesus learned from Joseph and became a carpenter himself. As Jesus grew up, he learned more about God and what his plan was. He studied the word of God and remembered all that it said. Jesus prepared himself for everything that God wanted him to do. So when it was time, he was ready to be the Messiah, the promised savior of the Israelites and all of mankind. Stories of the Bible, Jesus and the Sinful Woman. This is Jesus, hey who is the Son of God and the Savior of the world. While Jesus was on earth, he taught everyone about God's love and healed people from their sickness. He did many miracles like calming storms. <laughs> and even raised people from the dead. Uh, wahoo! There were a group of Jewish leaders called the Pharisees who heard Jesus speak often. One of the Pharisees named Simon asked Jesus to have dinner with him. Come on over. Oh, okay, sounds good. So Jesus went over to his house and a certain sinful woman heard that he was eating there. She went to the house and brought a jar filled with expensive perfume. She kneeled at Jesus' feet and cried. Her tears fell on his feet and she wiped them with her hair. She kissed his feet and put the perfume on them. Simon saw this and said to himself, Yeah, if this man really were a prophet, he'd know what kind of woman is touching him. She's a sinner. Blah. Then Jesus said, Simon, I have something to say to you. Ah, uh, okay. And he told him this story. A man loaned money to two people, 500 pieces of silver to one, Thank you. and 50 pieces to the other. Yeah, thanks. Oh, hello again. But neither of them could repay him. Sorry. Yeah, sorry. So he kindly forgave them both. Eh, that's okay. Canceling their debts. Who do you suppose loved him more after that? Simon said that the one who owed him more loved him more. Jesus said, Yep. That's right. Then he turned to the woman and said to Simon, Look at this woman kneeling here. When I entered your home, you didn't offer me water or wash the dust off my feet, but she has washed them with her tears and wiped them with her hair. I tell you, her sins, and there are many, have been forgiven, so she has shown me much love. But a person who is forgiven little shows only little love. Then Jesus said to the woman, your sins are forgiven. The men at the table said among themselves, who is this man? that he goes around forgiving sins. And Jesus said to the woman, your faith has saved you. Go in peace. That day when evening came, he said to his disciples, let us go over to the other side. Leaving the crowd behind, they took him along just as he was in the boat. There were also other boats with him. A fury 
a squall came up and the waves broke over the boat so that it was nearly swamped. Jesus was in the stern, sleeping on a cushion. The disciples woke him and said to him, Teacher, don't you care if we drown? He got up, rebuked the wind, and said to the waves, Quiet, be still. Then the wind died down, and it was completely calm. He said to his disciples, Why are you so afraid? Do you still have no faith? They were terrified and asked each other, Who is this? Even the wind and the waves obey him. <laughs> 